Hello and welcome. I am Vicky, you are watching Vicky Engineer. This video is all about what is lighting a restaurant how it works. Before going in detail or before starting the video, let's wish you happy Raksya Vandan to all because today I am shooting over here. This is the Raksya Vandan, so happy Raksya Vandan to all. Next, what is lighting a restaurant? Basically, lightning arrestor is the device to which we prevent the extra amount of current or voltage from outside source from entering to our electrical circuit by bypassing it to the ground. Understand? One more time. Lightning arrestor is the device to which we prevent our electrical circuit from extra amount of current or voltage of outside by bypassing them to the ground through any electrical earth pit. Next is how a lightning arrestor works. Basically lightning arrestor is a device which receives the lightning and bypasses it to, bypasses it to the ground. That is lightning arrestor. As from the name you understand lightning is the lightning happening in the sky and the uh, arrest means it receives that and bypasses it to the ground. Next is how it works. <coughs> and how it consists of basically there are many types of lighting arrestor uh, like the first is the rod gap arrestor what is the rod gap arrestor then basically rod gap arrestor is that basically there will be a small rod like structure that will be consisted of FRP and that will be surrounded with many type of discs MOV discs MOV stands for the metal oxide arrestor MOV discs basically that consists of silicons silicon carbide as you know that consists of that and that this will be surrounded by the FRP rod. What happens in that once the RS receives the lightning or basically the lightning contains very much very much high amount of current that is very much high amount of electron very much high amount of harmonic distortion and very much high amount of voltage difference. As you know, when the electron flow flows, that flows to the positive direction. That is, the, as we know, our earth contains very much amount of positive ions. Then what where, where will that lightning go then? That will obviously come to the ground. While the way of coming, it goes through the shortest path. If it will receive a uh, receiver like a lightning arrest or anything, that will go through that and bypasses to the ground. Basically, that process is called lightning arrestor. Next, how the lightning arrestor works then? As you learn, suppose this is a FRP stick and around it the MOV discs are surrounded. Basically, MOV discs are the silicon carbides, consists of silicon carbide. Basically, they are semiconductor in nature. And the top and bottom, this suppose this is the FRP stick. MOVs are uh, uh, surrounded by the bottom and the bottom there will be a layer of diaphragm and the top there also there will be a level of diaphragm. Then what will happen when the extra amount of current with the extra electron and extra voltage difference enters to that what happens then the diaphragm blasts at that time. Then what will happen so that blast in the diaphragm the MOV, MOV discs that consist of silicon bursts and it gets connected to the ground then ground source. Basically it works that time. I think you must have understood the process how it works. If you are having any doubt then let me know again and again there is no issue in asking anything if you are having doubt let me know I will glad to help you on that. This is the process of working of lightning arrestor. Next is spear gap arrestor. As you see in the screen over here Basically, there are two sphere-like structure that receives the again the lighting from the sky and bypasses it to the ground. Second is the sphere gap arrestor. Third is the horn gap arrestor. Basically, horn gap arrestors are as you see there are two L distracting L set element will be there that will receive and bypass that. That is horn gap arrestor. Next is multi gap arrestor. Fourth is the multi gap arrestor. And fifth is the impulse protective arrestor IPA. This is the most commonly used name you must have heard impulse protective arrestor. 
Sixth is the electrolytic arrestor or spike rod arrestor. Spike rod arrestor is the most used uh, lightning arrestor in home or any residential projects or anything, any build, building, anything where you see, uh, where you see the spikes, there will be a single rod and you know, three, four, five spikes will be there. Normally we use it in any build, building or any home that is the spike rod arrestor. Next is the expulsion light type lighting, expulsion lighting arrestor and next is the wall type, wall type lightning arrestor and next is thyroid lightning arrestor and the tenth and last one is the metal oxide arrestor. Basically there are 10 types of arrestor used in the purpose of lightning. Mainly one more thing, one I forgot to say, one is the surge arrestor. All these are used in the electrical lines. All arrestors except the spike rod arrestor are used in the electrical empty line substation on all that. What happens in the surge arrestor case? Let's discuss in brief. Basically, suppose there is a transformer or any costly equipment, they need to be saved from uh, extra current or extra voltage so we can prevent it from burst. What we do then, we connect the lightning arrestor in parallel to the transformer before that. Understand? In parallel to the transformer. Then what you do then? Once from suppose from any point it receives a much more amount of lightning or much more amount of high energy in that and high dis harmonic distortion in that, it comes through that. But what will happen if we don't have a lightning arrestor in parallel to frame then to in before that? The directly will flow to the uh, equipment we have and it will burst that equipment. Then how we can say save that from? Once we place the lightning arrestor in parallel to the uh, equipment before that, when extra amount of current flow through the circuit, what it do then? It is bypassed through the shortest path to the ground rather than entering to the electrical equipment. That's the basic fundamental of lightning arrestor. Then how it connected to the ground? Next point is first we discussed what is lightning arrestor, second we discussed how it works and we will discuss now how it's connected to the ground. Basically there are two ways of connecting to the ground. One is the earth bit as we do but in lightning arrestor do not ever go for a conventional earth bit. Always go for the chemical earth bit because it will give you, it will provide you the stability of some years with that low, resisti low resistivity. Like uh, as you know, if you are going for at least benzonite, it gives you the 3 ohm per meter resistance level. And if you are going for maconite, then always it giving you the 0 0.003 ohm per meter. If you don't know what is chemical earthquake and how to do that, then I am giving the link in the card button. Go through that, you will have some good knowledge on that, what is the chemical earthquake and how to do that and how it works. Next is how it's connected to the ground. Basically, it's a normal earth bit. It's a earth bit from the lightning arrestor on the top. We connect it through a wire or through a copper strip or GI strip. It's always advisable in lightning arrestor go for everything for copper. Do not go for GI. It's my personal advice to whatever you can do there. It's connected from that lightning arrestor through a pit, uh, sorry, strip or any wire to the lightning, uh, sorry, uh, chemical earth bit connected in the ground and on the top of the chemical earth bit as you know there will be a lug and bus bar so that it can be connected. Again my prefer, uh, advice will be to you is use a earth, earth terminal over there. It's not much more costlier, it's always affordable to you, always use a earth terminal over there. It's the first one to use a chemical earth strip. <coughs> if you are having a multiple uh, lightning arrestor requirements and suppose your building is already there, it's a resisting building. Then what to do in that case? Your 
suppose you are having a five, four to five uh, chemical earthquakes. Better for safety, make it a grid and let it connected all the four, four to five earthquakes. Let it connected uh, with them to in parallel circuit. Then what will happen? Suppose in case one earthquake gets bursted or get, gets damaged, at least your other earthquakes by making it a grid can save your equipment or your home or anything. Next, suppose we are planning the lightning hash for a high rise building and it's not been started yet. The construction not been started yet. That point what to do? Before starting the column level, the RCC column for the building at the base, actually total at the base, we make a grid of earth, earth strips. One, two, three, four, five, like it's a welded grid. Understand grid, it's a mess, strip mess of coppers and fill it the same process, fill it with the magnetite and cement slurry and give it a time of uh, 5 to 6 hours so it, it gets set over there. Next we continue the uh, process of that. Understand? What happens then? The grid under the ground that itself works is a, a chemical earthquake. Understand? And it's a grid over there. It's a very little chance it will get damaged or it won't work. If one strip also get damaged, others are there making there by making a mesh which will help you to get in that earth resistivity. So I think you must have good clarity on lightning arrestor, what type of lightning arrestor, how it works and how it's connected. If you are having any doubt, let me know in the comment. I'll always be glad to help you on that. So, signing off. Bye-bye. See you next.